Thank you, Laura, and good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'd like to thank GSI for the opportunity to share some of the things that we're doing here at East Carolina University. Um, and um, so what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, this teleaudiology um, program that we uh, have been uh, doing here for the past uh, four or five years and show you some of the things um, uh, that that's involved with that and some of the uh, data that we have and some of the challenges um, for people that are interested in, in doing uh, teleaudiology. If you did see the first um, two webinars, um, the diagnostics um, that I talked about in those two are actually implemented in this uh, project. Um, so this is uh, kind of an application of that. Um, these are the objectives. I'm going to, uh, uh, you can read for yourself here. We'll talk about some overall challenges. Uh, I'll identify some of the equipment that we use, but it's not necessarily um, uh, required in all programs, um, but we have an established uh, programming network that makes us a little bit special. Uh, and then I'll uh, share with you some of the data and how that compares with the traditional uh, uh, infant uh, hearing identification uh, screening uh, and diagnostic program. Uh, so this is the overall, um, or sorry, overview of what I want to talk about. Um, talk a little bit about what some of the terms are, uh, and then again give you details of our project, look at our outcome data, as I said earlier, and then some of the challenges, and then we'll kind of wrap it up and, and uh, leave some time, hopefully, for some questions. 